Whoa. Oh. Uh. Um. Hey guys. Or hello. Who are you again? Oh. Ah, uh, no one told me there was company. I just, you know, snuck in here and thought I could do something cool. Oh. Welcome to Life with Eric. I'm on a TV show. Uh oh. Um. I'll be right back. Hmm. Back to a break. It's weird. What happened to my water? Hmm. Oh. Hey guys. What's happening? What's up? Welcome to uh, Life With Me. Today is a good day. You know why? Actually, it's a good week because this week's theme is apple. Yep, it's apple. All sorts of apples. Apple pie. Apple cider. Apple electronics. Yeah. Which means we gave away something free. Hooray! Give away at the end of the week. So, welcome and have fun with that. But, I have a little treat for you guys today. A while ago, I actually stepped on the back of my iPhone 4. And, as you can see, it's really broken there and it's really not cool and that sort of thing. So, what I'm going to show you to do, I'm going to show you how to repair the back of this here case. And it's only like, it only cost you like $12. So that's how much I've just bought back in my case for. And you know, it does void your warranty. So, you know, don't do this if you want to void your warranty. My phone, I've had it for over two years. So the, there's not, there's not a warranty on it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I'm not going to pay $40 just to have the back replaced when it's as simple as easy, so easy to do. So just step right into this new camera here. Here we go. Now, this is awesome and cool. As you can see, the back is really, really torn up. So, first off is there's little screws right here, as you can see. And depending on your type of model, those screws are going to either be a Phillips screwdriver or a um, kind of a triangle-shaped screwdriver. Let me show you here. The first one is more like a triangle shaped, which is more for the newer, came out newer. And the second one is the actual regular Phillips head. But mine turns out to be the uh, star one. So what you do is you take it and you very gently unscrew the two little screws for you guys Oops. and you know try not to drop your your uh, screwdriver because that's just just not cool and we both know we want to be professionals here and stuff so you unscrew it nice and easy and it comes right out the good, cool thing about these screwdrivers they're uh, magnetized so it's really cool set it down on something nice and flat you don't want anything you don't want to do this over you know a surface that has grooves or anything because these screws can get stuck in it really really easily so there you go again cool cool next thing you do is you gently slide upward and it makes a little slot right there and you pull it and there you go yay so now you have these two cases so we're good 
we're good there. Now we're left with a, you know, regular back, no back iPhone, which isn't, you know, that appealing or that nice. So, you take your nice, awesome, cool one. This is like $12. Actually, this was a kit. These screwdrivers and the back here was a kit for 12 bucks. Then you put on, take your back, and basically do exactly the way you took it off. You slide it in, and you can see there's a little, um, spit right there where it just slides straight down and it may take some pushing just because um, it's new and stuff but eventually it'll slide right in so there we go now we're nice and fitted and we look cool so it fits so perfectly you do actually really don't even need the screws but you know do it just in case then we screw the screws back on. Nice and easy. There we go. Take the next screw. Screw it right on. Oops. Ah, we're getting unmagnetized. So yeah, you don't want to lose these screws. You don't make them out of those. You really can't want to be able to find any replacements. So if you do this, do the best you can not to lose your screws. Yep, and there we go. Nice and screwed in, fresh, new, and awesome. So guys, here we go. Newness and awesome new iPhone. Treasured and cool. You get the case, stick it in here, and it's all ready to go. Now, one awesome great deal that you can do is if you have your extra iPhone 4 or anything, and you've actually upgraded the, I the iPhone 4S, you can actually go to uh, your local GameStop, and they'll trade you in and give you cash money for uh, your old iPhones. But the only thing is, nothing can be broken on it. I mean structure damage can't they can't they're not allowed to take structure damage anything like that's why I fixed the back but I'm actually selling that to, to a friend but um, if I wanted to I actually took that phone in with the broken back and they said they couldn't take it they can't take anything with a broken housing so make sure you get your stuff fixed do it yourself it's 12 bucks on eBay little kit replacement back kit so yep like I said it does void your warranty so, you know, I wouldn't do it <laughs> if you have a warranty, but I'm not going to pay 40 bucks anyways. So, where were we? Oh, yeah. We are going to have one and talk about prizes. Now, see this little thing? It's an iPod Shuffle. Yep, Apple's newest, newest just launched iPod Shuffle, and it is for giveaway. So comment below, and y'all are gonna be entered in to win this cool little thing. It's you know nice and cool. So it's actually blue, and blue is my favorite color. Blue and green are my favorite colors. So. Anyways, let's take it away, comment below, and have fun. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. We want, I really need my water. But, yep. So thanks for watching, Life with Eric, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bright in, well, maybe not early, and it might not be bright. Actually, it's always bright, so. <laughs> yep, see you guys later and next time. Whew.